Marcia Wolf. I'm a research scientist in the astronomy department at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. And um, I work on astronomical instrumentation and I do research on galaxy evolution. Okay, so this is what we call the GFIP. It's the grading and filter insertion prototype. So this is the prototype we built of our instrument using uh, real motors and actuators that will insert optics into the beam inside the instrument. When we go to assembling the real optics for the instrument, we'll be doing it in some of our back rooms, which are much, much cleaner than this outer lab. The detector itself will go inside a cryogenic doer, and so what we'll do is take the whole doer into the cleaner room. We handle the detector in our bunny suits and gloves, and install it into the doer, close it up, and then it's sealed up and, and safer. Yeah. And then we uh, bring that whole enclosure out and integrate it into the rest of the instrument. These uh, are different electronics modules, and so these control all of the actuators, anything that moves in the instrument. Um, the other thing that this prototype has allowed us to do is to develop the software, the control software. So it's um, it's been written in LabVIEW, that's what we use uh, as a standard for the basalt telescope. Um, and that allows us to test out all the modules. Because I went to such a small school, we didn't really have science fairs or anything like that, but I remember uh, loving science in grade school. And I think in fourth grade, we had little um, experiment kits that came with our science book, you know, and so once a week we'd do our little go over and pull out the materials for whatever the experiment was that week, and I remember remember that fondly, <laughs> fondly as something that uh, I really enjoyed doing. I grew up in a very small town, farming town. My family is very, um, you know, conservative and religious background, so it's it's strange that I ended up liking science so much, and, and uh, uh, particularly being a woman, a girl at the time, uh, in my upbringing, that was not really uh, stressed for girls, you know, to be interested in those kinds of things. But I was, and my parents were very supportive, so it, it worked out. We're uh, expecting to deliver the instrument to the telescope near the end of 2012, next year. So we've got about a year left of fabricating the, and assembling the real thing. This mates up to an instrument that operates at, at visible wavelengths, and we, we share a few optics within it. So we have to bring that one off the telescope down in uh, Cape Town, which is the headquarters for the observatory. So once it goes on the telescope, we'll have a period of about two months of commissioning, mm -hmm. which is doing real observations on sky and characterizing how the instrument performs. I grew up wanting to be an astronaut, because I, I remember the Apollo program. I was about six years old when we first landed on the moon, and so the Apollo uh, space program was really big uh, when I was growing up and that had me always interested in space. I got interested in amateur astronomy when I was nearly 30 years old. Uh, I went to a, uh, uh, actually a laser light show in a planetarium in Dayton and they had, uh, it was at a Museum of Natural History and they had the telescope open after the show and I went up to the telescope and that was it. <laughs> I, was, I was hooked on astronomy. 